Hi everyone and welcome back to today's more important chart appraisal videos on Monday the 25th of July with me which is Market Analyst at Handtech Markets. Looking at dollar yen and we've seen dollar yen sort of starting to just reclaim a little bit the upside momentum on the hourly chart. You see you sort of going on the um, on the fact that um, you had a mild bullish candle, or po I say bullish, mildly positive candle on Friday. Nothing too significant to the upside, about sort of 20 ticks up today, but uh, still very mildly positive. I mean, you, you had this um, this uh, bearish engulfing candle on Thursday, which changed the outlook once again. I mean, we had this rally that was going on, and this candle on Thursday has really sort of has changed the outlook of that rally. Um, and you look at the stochastics, for example, have given the bearish cross, but not yet confirmed. RSI hitting 60 and just sort of turning over a bit. But you look at this, um, the fact that we're still in this downtrend channel, which um, was basically hit on Friday. I mean, on an intraday basis, yes, you went above it, but basically we're still trading inside it, and you're, you're still sort of towards the highs of, the, of that trend channel. So the, the market is effectively still at a crossroads. It's not yet decided that it's going to sell off significantly um, and regain that yen strength that we'd seen so so um, strongly in the last six, seven, eight months, um, which has pulled dollar yen lower. But certainly at the moment, I th I'm still treating this as a, as a correction within the downtrend channel and um, the fact that the RSI is rolling over at 60 and, and losing a bit of that impetus, the MACD lines coming back towards neutral, stochastics again rolling over, it's, it's not dissimilar to what we saw in the move in late May. So uh, I'm still treating this as a, as a bear market rally uh, and for now uh, I think that um, you need to be a bit uh, cautious on trading this too far long because um, it seems as though that the yen correction has just run out of a little bit of steam, certainly with that uh, bearish engulfing candle on Thursday. A um, couple of candles since then have not really done anything to change the um, or to affect the outlook demonstrably. Um, mildly positive. But uh, look at these moving averages on the hourly, all come together. Um, sort of converge. So that would suggest that you're, you're sort of not a million miles away from perhaps um, a bit of a move. Um, but uh, we are now consolidating. Um, you got the Fed and the BOJ back end of this week, Wednesday on the Fed, uh, Friday on the BOJ. So huge, huge risk events. Um, and I think it's fair enough that uh, dollar yen is not really showing too much decisive direction in front of that. But um, key resistance comes in at. Um, 107.47 which was the uh, reaction high of last week um, today's high 106.70 106.71 obviously is a, a near term resistance as well but uh, you still got a minor sort of reaction uh, highs um, sorry l l higher reaction lows 105.40 105.575 uh, um, subsequently to that on Friday and minor near term reaction low. So that that's the level that's intact and it's sort of building slightly higher but again nothing too significant in terms of the direction. I think it's um it's gonna probably consolidate in front of the Fed and the BOJ in my opinion anyway. So um I wish you good luck in your trading on Dolly N and I'll speak to you later. Thank you.